Hey guys! Hope you are well and enjoying the supercars exciting videos on my channel hmk.supercars. The Lamborghini Sion is the Italian Mark's first production hybrid car, and also the company's most powerful road car ever. In profile, the Sion is a typical Lamborghini, but the concept-like details will steal attention from even the Ferrari SF90 straight ale, the prancing horse's most extreme hybrid. But even that car is far more attainable than this Lamborghini. All 63 Sion's earmarked for production have been sold at a price exceeding $3.5 million each. In typical Lumbo style, the Sion is excess at its best. Lamborghini's 6.5-liter V12 is a masterpiece and hybridization has not masked its character in any way. It produces a staggering 774 horsepower and 531 pound-foot of torque. The 48-volt e-motor provides even more immediate responses and it's powered by a supercapacitor that stores more power than a lithium-ion battery of the same weight. The electric motor produces 34 horsepower and 26 pound-foot on its own. Together, the system generates 808 horsepower. With all-wheel drive, the only drivetrain available, the Sion will launch itself from 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 2.8 seconds and to 124 miles per hour in just 8.6. In the US, 0 to 60 miles per hour should come up closer to 2.5 seconds. The top speed is just over 220 miles per hour. Those figures translate into a truly exhilarating experience for the driver and passenger. The Lamborghini Sion's V12 engine is as boisterously loud as ever, and the way it surges beyond 8,000 RPM is something truly special that no turbocharged engine can hope to replicate. As mentioned, that e-motor makes use of a supercapacitor instead of lithium-ion batteries. The supercapacitor can store and deploy a greater amount of energy, and do it even faster. So, while the supercapacitor can be quickly depleted, it can also be almost immediately recharged when the car is braking so it can deliver another burst of power. This transfer of energy is visible via a graphic display on the infotainment screen, and it's cool enough to be distracting. At higher speeds, the electric motor accounts for any torque gaps and makes acceleration smoother and faster. Another major benefit of the electric motor is how much it improves the operation of the single clutch, 7-speed transmission. For all the talk about this mild hybrid system, it's the V12 that still steals the show. It is powerful and bursting with character, and when extended, one forgets about the fancy electric bits almost entirely. It goes without saying that acceleration off the mark and even at illegal speeds is sensational. Certain aspects of the Sion feel quite old school, but the same can't be said of the wild, futuristic exterior. With the legendary Kuntash providing some inspiration, the Sion features a notable Gandini line, but the arrow wings give the Sion its own, unique look. The Y-shaped headlights are unmissable, and there are many other neat details like the NACA air inlets on the doors. At the back, other than the massive exhaust outlets, there are six hexagonal taillights, once again inspired by the Countach. The car is about as subtle as a gun, and 20-21-inch wheels only add to its menacing appearance. The Lamborghini Sion's interior shares its basic architecture with the regular Aventador, but the materials have been upgraded and there's a new vertical touchscreen. 
This screen is set above a flat center section that's littered with buttons. It all looks and feels special though. From the driving position to the liberal use of carbon fiber, it's an exciting design. At a price of $3.6 million in the USA, but potentially much more depending on how it is customized, the price of the Lamborghini Sion is as outrageous as the rest of it. Considering that the Aventador SVJ cost up to $600,000 and has almost the same 0 to 62 miles per hour time, it's difficult to justify the Lamborghini Sion's cost $3.6 million. Then again, this is not a car that one defines by mere logic. And above all Lamborghini Sion is sheer entertainment on wheels and extends Lamborghini's legacy as a purveyor of testosterone-filled supercars that most of us can only dream about. So guys, though all 63 Sion has been sold but even then if you had 3.6 million dollars to buy a sport car what would be your choice? Would you go for a Sion or would save 3 million dollars and buy an Aventador SVJ? must tell me in comments, like the video and subscribe my channel hmk.supercars. In the next upcoming video we'll check out about the more innovative and speedy supercars by Bugatti, Lamborghini, and Koenigsegg. So stay tuned with my other videos, take care and goodbye.